Hey there, it's Ryan with Nine Month College Grad, where I teach people how to earn college degrees way faster without spending tens of thousands of dollars on tuition. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something that I get all the time, a question I get all the time. I am the worst at math. I suck at math. I'm not good at math. I can't go to college. I totally bombed math in high school. I just can't do it. I want to talk about going to college if you have a fear of math. How do you graduate? How do you get it done quickly? How do you breeze through math even if math is not one of your strengths? Hi, I'm Ryan Sweet, and I used to be a two-time college dropout making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how. All right, so how in the world do you get a college degree if you are terrible at math? It doesn't matter how, I mean, whether it was high school or you tried college math and bombed, most of us who are not good at math, including myself, we know that we're not good at math, right? So what do you do? Now, here's the good news. It is 2021 at the time of recording this video, and learning is a lot different than it was 10 and 15 years ago because of smartphones and because of the internet and technology advancements in general. When I went back to college, it was well after I had finished high school, I actually dropped out of college a couple times and then I went to college for the third time, third time's the charm, right? Um, and my last attempt at math, I realized, man, math isn't really as hard as I thought it was uh, or, or basically like maybe I wasn't as bad as I thought I was at math all along. And I'll tell you why, because when it's hard to learn math, it's usually not the student's fault. It's usually uh, the teacher is having a hard time connecting with the student. So growing up, if you're whether you're in elementary school or junior high or high school, whoever your teacher is, that's who's teaching you math and you have to deal with it. You don't have a choice, right? You're sitting in a high school math class. This is your teacher. Deal with it. Literally the entire year you have to learn math in the way that they teach math and if they're not a great teacher or if their teaching style doesn't match your learning style it's really really hard it's and then math is one of those things if you get behind you it's really really hard to catch up so you can't miss anything in the beginning or down the road you can't do the more advanced things because the simple things are integrated into the advanced things and you're just behind, right? Well, like I said, it's 2021 at the time of recording this video and times have changed. So if you suck at math or you think you suck at math, I want to take you over to my screen and I want to show you a couple of things that are really going to help you with college math and hopefully alleviate those math fears and give you confidence because if you suck at math, I'm telling you, it's most likely not your fault. You probably ended up with teachers that you didn't mesh well with and that's why you're not good at math. So let's jump over to my screen and I'll show you uh, some solutions, some things that you can do. Okay. Now this is YouTube. I'm just go over to YouTube. Okay. And I want to go up to the search bar and show you something. Okay. I'm just going to type in math. Okay. But once I do a math search, I'm going to click on this little filters section and I'm going to do change the search type to channel. Okay. So we're going to search math channels and I want to show you something. Okay. There's this guy that does math, teaches math by songs. Uh, Mr. Morgan's math help math with Mr. J math solutions. This guy does stand up comedy in his math teaching. So he teaches math with comedy. That's pretty interesting. Um, but there's just tons and tons and tons of math channels, right? Um, the math dude. Now, what you can do is when you start learning math, okay, let's say you have to learn in, in algebra, you'll learn how to do something that's called quadratic equations, okay? 
what you can do is you can go to YouTube and you can uh, sample different teachers. And I'm just using quadratic equations as an example, but you can watch a handful of different teachers teach quadratic equations. And one of those teachers is going to be better than the others for your learning style. Okay. So you can just test, test, test lots of different teachers and you get to choose your teacher, whoever meshes well with you, whether it's someone singing math songs, whether it's the math comedian, whether it's just a teacher that meshes well with your personality, it's a lot easier to learn math with the right teacher. And today you get to choose your math teacher. You're not, even if in college you're assigned a specific math teacher, you don't have to listen to that math teacher if they don't mesh well with you. Okay. If you have to learn a specific thing and your math teacher in college isn't good, go hit the internet and find a math teacher that works well for you. And when you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to have this aha moment and you're going to think, wow, math actually isn't as hard as I thought it was. And it's because you found the right teacher. Then once you find the right teacher, whatever you have to learn for the future, you just keep referring back to that teacher because you've found your person, right? Once you've found that math teacher, keep going back to that math teacher and learning math from that particular teacher. Now, let me show you a couple other things. So you can do a a uh, channel search for just math. You can do algebra, you can do calculus, you can do statistics, whatever it is. Um, you don't have to do a channel search. You can uh, search specific math questions and then find, see if you're, the teacher you like has dropped a video for that particular question, however you want to do the search. But there are so, so many math teachers online. You are bound to find a teacher that can teach you and that matches your personality type really well. Now, next thing I want to show you, YouTube's not the only math resource. There are tons of others, okay? One big popular one is khanacademy.org. If you go to Khan Academy, K-H-A-N, K-H-A-N, academy.org forward slash math, uh, you'll see like literally math tutoring stuff for every grade. Okay. So you can go into, I mean, algebra, geometry, trig, whatever it is, there are videos here. And again, Khan Academy, there is a math teacher for Khan Academy. If you listen to videos from their math teacher, it, the Khan guy was the math teacher for a long time. Now some other people do math teachings as well. If, if, these teachers are a good fit for you. You keep coming back here. If you watch these trainings and the teacher doesn't sync well with you, or it's kind of confusing, it doesn't make a lot of sense, move on to something else and find a new teacher. Okay. You can also go, uh, just do Google, Google searches, right? Learn college math online and boom, there's this mathnasium. I mean, tons of different stuff, right? Online course geeks, Khan Academy, School Yourself, tons of different stuff, okay? There's a website called Brilliant, okay? Brilliant.org. You can go and learn math, right? Lots of different things. Um, th there are free math resources all across the internet. Mathisfun.com forward slash algebra, okay? Now, another thing is there's, here's another resource, okay? Universitytutor.com, okay? And guess what? You can hire tutors in your area, okay? If math is still really hard for you, you can hire tutors that you can work with and they can help you one-on-one -on -one with math. Because in school, the way, the way it works, and you know this, the way it works is there are 30 or 40 students in a class and there's one teacher trying to teach the group as a whole, okay? If you're not good at math, use a math tutor. It's it's so, so much easier because you're having help one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Now, aside of like finding math tutors online, when you're enrolled in school, most schools, especially online schools, will have, some online schools have math hotlines where you can literally like 
dial a phone number and get a math tutor on the other end and it's included in your tuition costs so you don't have to pay extra okay so when you're enrolled in college you literally will have access to math tutors especially if you're doing an online school they basically provide tutors for you it depends on the college um if you if you're wanting to find a college with free math tutors reach out to me and i'll be more than happy to to point out some schools that are really good at that um but yeah, the, the whole purpose of this is number one, okay? Number one, math is not as hard as we all think it is. I never was good at math either. Um, college math is not harder than high school math. It's just you're learning more math, right? It's not, it, like it doesn't get progressively harder and harder. I mean, when you get really, really advanced, it does. But for your core college math classes, they're not what I realize is they're not really that much harder than what I did in college. If you're going like, if you're going to be a rocket scientist and there's really, really high level stuff, yes, that it's, it's going to be harder, but your core required math classes just to get your degree are not as hard as you would think that they are. Okay. And last but not least, it's all about the teacher. Okay. You as the student, are most likely not the problem if you're not good at math. You just need to find the right teacher. So if you're dragging your feet, if you want to go to college and get a degree, if you want to use degree hacking and get your degree really, really fast, and you're dragging your feet because you're afraid you're going to get hung up on math, I hope this video has really helped you. I dropped out of math in high school. I took the bare minimum math requirements in high school. With degree hacking, I literally finished both of my college math classes in a total of three weeks, okay? A week and a half per math class. Instead of sitting in math classes for four months long, literally three weeks long, I was done with college math for the literally the rest of my life, okay? So I studied math for three weeks in college. That's it. I hope this is encouraging to you. If you want to learn more about degree hacking and how to graduate faster, go to diplomasecrets.com. I've got a free video that walks you through what I call our, the, the three pillars of degree hacking, finding the right school, making sure that the school's finance options are right and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, and then um, not doing everything the teachers tell you to do. It'll make sense. Go to diplomasecrets.com. I'll walk you through those three pillars of degree hacking for free. And there's nothing for sale at the end of the video or anything. It's just a free training. So yeah, you're welcome to, to view that. And like I said, if math's hard, stop worrying about it. It's really a lot easier today than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. It really is. I hope this has encouraged you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you in the next video.